Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to review some of the integration features that we've included for the Axiom Air Mini 32. Some of the things that we'll be going over in this video also apply to the Axiom Air 25, 49, and 61 keyboards, as well as the Axiom Pro 49 and 61. However, a lot of the things that we're covering in this video are specific only to the Axiom Air Mini 32. I'll be sure to point out which gestures also work with those other keyboards. Right now I have Ignite open and I have the demo project loaded. I don't have the Axiom Air Mini 32 connected, so I'm just going to go ahead and connect it now. And as we've mentioned in some of the other videos, this takes a couple of moments. The keyboard just has to power on, Ignite just has to detect it, and here we are. So one of the first things you're going to notice is that the knobs on the Axiom Air Mini 32 are actually not turning or controlling anything in Ignite. This is because on the Axiom Air Mini 32, there are actually three different hypercontrol modes, volume, pan, and instrument effects. By default, when the Axiom Air is first connected and powered on, it defaults to volume. Obviously, we're not trying to control volume, we're trying to control the shape of the individual instrument. To change the hypercontrol mode, on your Axiom Air Mini 32, press the hypercontrol button until the instrument effects LED is lit. Once that's done, you will be able to control the shape tab from your Axiom Air Mini 32. One of the other things you can do with all the Axiom Airs, the Mini 32, the 25, the 49, the 61, and the Axiom Pro 49 and 61, is use the cursor keys, or in the case of the Axiom Pros, the numeric keypad, to navigate around Ignite. Use the up arrow while pressing the center button to change focus. As you can see, there's a very thin white box that's around the instruments bar. And as I hold the center enter button down and press up, the focus area has changed to the tab view itself. And if I press it a third time, it's all the way up at the tab views. This will show you exactly which area of Ignite the keyboard has control over for navigation. So now that I'm up in the tab view, I can easily use the left or right arrow buttons, or again on the Axiom Pros, the numeric keypad, to navigate between the different tabs. If I wanted to use the Axiom keyboard to control the navigation within a specific tab, again, I just to change focus, hold the Enter button or the Center button, and push the down arrow. Now I am navigating the different main instrument family categories in the Choose tab. To select a category, I just have to hit Enter or the Center button. And then I can easily navigate between the different subcategories. To go back up to the main category, I just press the Up button. If you want to select a specific patch, just press the down arrow until you see the white focus box around the different patch. And if you find the patch that you want to try out, just hit the Enter button again or the Center button within the arrows. And then you'll see the Add Instrument or Replace Instrument buttons. And you can navigate between those using the left or right buttons. And then depending on what you want to do, when you have that option selected, just press the Center or Enter button again to add it to the project. These navigation controls work in a number of different areas within the application. And for more detailed information on how to continue to work with instruments, selecting and adding effects, and other areas of the application where the navigation controls work, please refer to the user guide that's available in the Help menu. Now I just quickly want to go over the two other hypercontrol modes that are included on the Axiom Air Mini 32. These have to do with controlling volume and pan. So I'm going to change my focus down to the Instruments tab. And if I press the down arrow while I have an instrument selected, I'll be able to open up the fader strip for that instrument. 
Again, I can also always use the Show All, Hide All button that's right here on the side of the instruments bar. On my Axiomera Mini 32, I'm going to change the hyper control mode to volume. Now I can use the knobs on the Axiomera Mini 32 to control volume, as you can see on screen. If I press the hyper control mode button again to select the pan controls, I can also use the knobs to control pan. One other tip that I'd like to let you guys know about is when you are working with these controls, if they're not automatically latching or they're not automatically catching the control, it's usually because the where the actual physical control is on the keyboard is not actually at the same position as the control on screen. For example, if I loaded a patch where I had my knobs on the physical keyboard turned counterclockwise all the way to the left and the knob control in the software was actually turned all the way to the right, I would have to turn my control all the way to the right to get the control to latch and then have it be able to be controlled by the Axiom Air Mini 32. Again, there's additional information about how to use the hyper control modes on the Axiom Air and the Axiom Pro series products in the user's guide, which is available in the help menu. Also, please refer to the documentation that came with your keyboard. And you can also refer to both the mAudio.com website and the airmusictech.com website for additional information. I hope this information was helpful for you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.